If you're interested in knowing how to use the sun to improve your health and not get sunburned, you clicked on the right video. And make sure to watch to the very end where I'm gonna share with you my favorite products for helping to facilitate this process. So first of all, most people know that being in the sun helps you to increase your vitamin D levels. And most people know that vitamin D is essential for your immune system functioning, among other um, functions that it has in your body. It also helps you to have strong bones. But um, most people don't really know how the sun and vitamin D work together. So I'm just gonna give you a quick explanation. I find this stuff very interesting. I know not everybody does. I'm gonna keep it really brief. What happens is the sun is actually irradiating the fat in your skin, which causes the cholesterol in your skin to convert to vitamin D. Vitamin D is actually, the actual name for it is cholecalciferol. So the choly part is, is cholesterol. So vitamin D is in part made from cholesterol, which is one of the very important functions of cholesterol in your body. Uh, there are other important functions as well. I talk about this on my cholesterol video. So cholesterol is a necessary nutrient. It's not the bad guy everybody thinks it is. Um, now, if you use sunscreen, you're gonna cause two problems. One is that you're gonna block the sun's ability to help to do this process, right? So you're actually reducing your vitamin D levels. But the other problem with sunscreen is that it's made out of toxic ingredients. So you're poisoning yourself. Unless you're using all natural sunscreen, there are some um, oils that have very high SPF or sun protection factor, like carrot seed oil, even coconut oil, it, it has a low SPF sun protection factor of about four. Um, carrot seed oil is higher. But even these natural oils will, to some degree, block the sun from being able to convert vitamin D in your, into your, in your, through your skin. So how do you sit out in the sun without getting a sunburn? And I just want to let you know that I did that today. I was out in the sun for a while with no sunscreen. I'm very fair skinned. I have freckles and I don't get sunburned. This is how. So vitamin F, in case you've never heard of it, I know you've heard of vitamin A, B, C, D, and E, um, but there's also vitamin F. Vitamin F and calcium actually work together in your body to prevent sunburn. And I'm, I find this stuff so interesting. I'm gonna, again, keep it simple and explain this to you so you know why it's so important. Most people are vitamin F deficient. Many people are also calcium deficient. So calcium is actually in every single cell in your body. Most people think of calcium as being um, in their bones but calcium is in every single cell, every single tissue in your body. In fact, when you have enough calcium in your body, you don't need to have a fever when you get sick, right? Calcium actually takes the place of a fever. It does the function of a fever. It makes the body an inhospitable environment for, for bugs, for pathogens, for germs and it actually reduces your body temperature. So when you have enough calcium in your tissues, you have enough calcium, let's say, in your skin, it actually lowers the burn point of your skin. So you don't get burned as quickly or as easily. Now, when you're out in the sun too long and you have too much vitamin D in your skin, which is what happens, you're out in the sun, the sun is converting vitamin D and you're converting the cholesterol into vitamin D in your skin. When you have too much D in your body, it actually causes the calcium to start getting pulled out of the tissue. 
your body dumps the calcium into your blood. It comes out of your tissue. So now you've lost the calcium in your skin and your burn point becomes lower. Now it's more easy, easy for you to get a burn. Vitamin F comes to the rescue when you have vitamin F in your skin, in your body rather. It actually helps to put the calcium back where it belongs into the tissue. So they're kind of a team that works together, um, calcium and vitamin F and vitamin D, they're all necessary nutrients, but one moves the calcium out of your tissue and the other one moves it in. When you have enough vitamin F and calcium in your body, you won't end up having that effect of too much D, you get a burn, too much D, and then the calcium is pulled out. That will not happen. So the calcium actually acts like a coolant. It cools the, the reduces the temperature of the skin. It reduces the body temperature and thereby reduces its burnability. So isn't that cool? I, I, well, no pun intended there. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna tell you about my favorite products to use and the way to get the most vitamin D uh, through food. Before I do that, I just wanna give a shout out to my truth partner, Hats Hardcore Awakened Truth Seekers, the most informative truth movement out there. Please join this wonderful organization to gain valuable information and be part of a real community. Um, we do not have any financial arrangement. I'm not selling their products. I just actually think they're a great organization. We promote each other and I do actually love their products. So they have a website where they're selling things like this is t-shirt that I'm wearing now. And it says hats off to the truth, which I love that. And they have all these cool t-shirts and sweatshirts and household items. And I got their mug. Everything tastes better when you drink it out of a hats mug. So I'm going to put all of their links in the description to this video, the drop down description, go check them out. And if you use discount code, Corey Stern, C-O-R-I-S-T-E-R-N, all in caps, you will receive a surprise discount on any of their products. So now let's talk about, first of all, if you do end up getting a burn accidentally, let's say you are deficient in vitamin F and calcium and or calcium. And even with that, if you stay out too long in the sun, you can still get burned. Okay. So be wise, don't, you know, don't go out in the um, midday sun for hours at a time, especially if you're fair skinned. But um, my favorite things to use uh, to reduce burns, natural things are aloe vera. So I actually have an aloe plant. I just open up the leaves and um, slop on the, the gel when I need it. This is great for any kind of burn, not just sunburn. And then lavender, I find lavender to be miraculous for burns in general, including sunburns. So yes, I did get burned by something. I used a product recently that burned my skin. I can't remember what it was. And I just put um, lavender all over and it was gone within moments. I, I, I love lavender for that. All right. I also use um, Arnica. So if you are in pain from a burn, Arnica, I use a, a brand, a, um, it's a product called Relief Tone, and it's a homeopathic blend of, of ingredients for pain relief, and Arnica is one of those ingredients. So if you're interested in Relief Tone, um, you can send me an email. I don't have it on my website and um, I can get you some relief tone. My favorite products to use for um, vitamin F, number one, this, my favorite company, Standard Process, it's called Cataplex F. Standard Process uses the word Cataplex um, for their vitamins. So this, this particular one is gel caps. And by the way, I just wanna say, 
that. Uh, this is what they look like, these little gel caps. Now, right now I'm taking two a day. If you're just starting out, maybe you take more, take six to start with. If you are planning to be out in the sun for a long time, you could take more, you can't overdose on it. Um, I just wanna say this is extremely inexpensive, okay? I don't know the exact price. I wanna say somewhere around $15 for a bottle of 60 of these, all right? And then this is also a good source of vitamin F wheat germ oil. So the standard process wheat germ oil is really high quality wheat germ oil. It's important when you're taking any kind of fat supplement that it's in a good quality capsule so it doesn't go rancid. So this wheat germ oil contains vitamin F as well and it has some added benefits. Wheat germ oil also helps to increase fertility if that's an issue for you. And it also helps with endurance. So it increases the oxygenation of your tissue. Uh, let's say when you're, when you're exercising, um, it brings more oxygen into your muscles so you're able to go longer, right? And then my favorite calcium, it's very important to have absorbable calcium if you're gonna be using calcium, is the standard process calcium lactate highly absorbable, very inexpensive once again. So I have this huge bottle of it because I take a lot, but it comes in you know, little bottles too. It's like the least expensive supplement that they have. Can't go wrong. All right, so the, the, all the standard process products are available on my website, which I'll put a link to. You go to um, shop and then click on shop standard process. And then let's just talk about some food sources of vitamin F. First of all, one of the richest sources of vitamin F is raw butter. This is my raw butter from uh, a local Amish farm. So I eat a lot of this in addition to taking the, the Cataplex F supplement. Um, if you don't have access to raw butter or raw cream, uh, beef liver, good quality beef liver is also a rich source. And um, if you're not willing to eat that, then uh, flaxseed oil also contains vitamin F. Just make sure you're getting a good quality, fresh source of flaxseed oil because as I said, oils can go rancid and when you're eating a rancid oil, it's actually worse for you than eating or having an F deficiency because rancid oil is carcinogenic. So that's all I got for today. I hope this was helpful. And um, until I see you again, please stay well.